And this seems a perfect time, brother, for you to address what is the difference between popular culture and mass culture. Popular culture is where our artists and poets address what is highest in all of us. They speak on behalf of what is highest in all of us. In mass culture, they shout what we want to hear for money. So I would conventionally say, you know Bob Dylan? Do you think he wrote those songs for money? John Lennon? Do you think he wrote those songs for money? Do you think these artists lied to you? And recently some correspondents on the DGM website said, yes, these are examples of Bob Dylan lying. Yes, here's an example of John Lennon lying. So it comes back, do you think they made their musical choices governed by the imperatives of commerce? And that is popular culture. You have often mentioned that we as mere mortals have to believe that our artists will not lie to us. Do you trust your politicians? No. Do you trust your mortgage providers? No. How about your banks? No. We're from Canada. <laughs> Well, I'm from England, and the latest research as of two days ago was that only 19% of English people trust their banks. Now, in a time where we might be looking back for the past 25 years, certainly in England, and I think, I think wider, there is the leet motif that positions in, that people in positions of responsibility have not honored their responsibilities, for example, to clients, or for politicians, to the voters, and so on. This is the leak motif. I can say in my professional field that the managers who were nominally responsible for my affairs lied to me for money. <laughs> when a culture can no longer trust its artists to tell them the truth, the culture is in danger. You have often said, brother, that you have no real talent. Can you give us a snapshot of the family that you were born in? Our father grew up in a family of six. And when he was 16, his father, Austin, the Royal Marine, told him he had to leave school so that he could help support his brothers and sisters, which he did very well. Our mother, Edith, Saint Edith of the Valleys, was the daughter of a Welsh coal miner who lost his leg down the pit and spent his last night at the age of 59 hacking and wheezing away his life. Our mother left Wales at the age of 17 to go into service in Bournemouth, because if she stayed in Wales, she would marry a miner. She went to Bournemouth at a time when the signs in the window, no Welsh, no Irish. Well, she was Welsh and she got a job. And what our parents taught us, work hard. If you work hard for long enough, you will succeed. So I have no musical talent whatsoever, but when I went to London at the age of 21, I had already been working very hard for 10 years, and I knew that I would succeed, simply because I would work hard enough for long enough. So the Protestant work ethic would probably be the applicable words here. Would you agree? <laughs> 